This is Athena Jezik, and sometimes there's need for working the abdominal group. I use a lot of lymphatic work with abdominal work. There's a lot of lymph nodes around the gut and the other viscera organs. So I'm just going around now just feeling if there's softness. The stomach should feel relatively soft. It shouldn't feel hard. Um, you always, when you're working it, the uh, intestine runs, the large intestine, you have your ascending colon transverse and descending. So you want to make sure that things are open on this side, but you want to push it around that way. You don't want to back it up the other way. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that. The lymphatic work for the abdomen is to drain some of the fluid away, which is that skin stretching that we've done before, but we're going in a quad into the quadrant. This is a cross like that. Um, this part will drain up, this part drains into the inguinal, inguinal, and axillary. So you want to make sure when you're doing the lymph work that you're moving the fluids in that direction. And this is not the full protocol for abdominal work with lymph. It's just going to be um, enough to get the fluid moving so that I can get into the muscles and into the organs. There, and then this is the side of the liver. Oftentimes people's liver side is harder. Sometimes it's very hot, toxic. Um, it should feel soft, very pliable. So I have felt livers that have been quite fatty feeling before, and that's usually in very heavy drinkers. You'll have a very fatty liver. Okay, now we can release the liver a little bit by going underneath it here and kind of gliding along that anatomy to release it a little bit more. There's some visceral manipulation work that can take these organs into a deeper release. That's not what the objective is here. Okay. okay. So this is the small intestinal area. The stomach is about right here. The valves. Now how I work the abdomen is I start to move it down this direction, making an opening for everything to move that direction. So I'm moving this, getting underneath this curve in the intestine and working around this way. And again, it's not with a lot of deep pressure, but you do need to get in and feel what you're on. You can feel the different directional things. I'll be the intestine comes up a little and then it goes down into the center. So I'm just going to go along here and massage a little bit to just give a little bit of stimulation to the intestinal tract. And this is something else that you know, when you have an upset stomach or you're feeling tight, you can do these sorts of things on yourself too. It's not quite as pleasant to do work on yourself as it is to have someone else do it, but it can relieve some pressure if you're feeling tight. And there's a little bit of tightness down in this, in the ascending colon, but not bad. Now, oftentimes when I get a little bit of a upset in my stomach, um, I can tell immediately that I'm not moving fluids very well. Right here is a lymph uh, structure called a cisterna chili. To give a little stretch here is really helpful in pulling a lot of the, t the fluid upward from the stomach. And sometimes I can actually feel it move and I always feel a lot better when I do this. Just helping the body to kind of get rid of that um, food that might have been a little bit 
more rich than I should have had or too much. Okay, so basically this is just to get a lot of this moving. And then you can press in it with their breath as they breathe out. Just apply a little more pressure in. And then I always roll it around just a tad in that clockwise direction to just keep everything moving and happy.